Hey folks, it's Cat Beanie. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some more mining uh, today. Let's see if we can get some more diamonds because I think we had 38. I think. Yeah, 38. So I'm gonna see if we can get some more diamonds. Uh, maybe go to the Skelly Spawner, get some more XP. Uh, just see how it goes. Um, I was at um, Baby Group this morning with the little one. Uh, she had actually a good morning and she's currently asleep right now next to me all wrapped up and cozy so she's good how is it uh, yeah my husband asked me if I want the heating on because it'd be cold in Scotland like for uh yeah and I don't know wherever you guys are in the world, but currently we're having like a fuel thing here. So everyone's fuel bills has went up extortionately. So we used to like pay for our bills quarterly and our electric bill was like, um, so that's like every three months and our electric bill was over £400 for a three bedroom flat and our gas bill was over £300 for a four bedroom flat. So that's like, it was about £800 uh, for three months gas and electric, uh, which is crazy to me. So, uh, so we phoned the company that we're with and we're going pay as you go, which I don't know if that's a thing that you guys can do uh, wherever you are, uh, but basically they send out a gas card, an electric card, uh, and you just like top it up like basically like a pay as you go mobile phone but for your gas and electricity. Uh, because like we were paying for the gas and electric quarterly which was fine uh, but obviously we were paying so much of it off over the three months uh, till we got our next bill and then we kept getting a letter saying oh you what you still owe us this amount of money you still owe us this amount of money uh, and I think the gas companies are currently being told by the government that if anybody asks to go uh, pay as you go that they have to that they have to let them do it because I have asked them before to change it to monthly bills uh, and they didn't and I've asked them before to change it to pay as you go uh, and they didn't it's like oh this this would be cheaper it's like yeah that's fine but and I think overall it is generally cheaper but when I go to pay my bills I don't want to get a um, letter like every week saying oh you're still just this amount of money you're still just I'm aware of how much money I'm due I'm, I'm paying it I'm not in debt you know it's just infuriating so to stop all the letters and stuff where like uh, go on to pay as you go because it's just less hassle I think you end up paying like an extra four pound a year for pay as you go just for the audacity of you know topping it up yourself but it saves me having to pay the bill online or talking to someone on the phone which you know I don't want to do <laughs> I don't want to talk to people leave me alone you know so if anybody has issues with having to talk to the people from their gas electric company um, if you can go pay as you go and then therefore don't have to talk to them that is just a bonus I say I don't have to talk to them I usually make my husband do it anyway Despite the account being in my name, so they usually have to talk to me first anyway. Uh, it is, a, is what it is, it's done now, so hopefully we'll have our gas and electric cards sent out and we will be 
back on prepayment meters, well, we don't need to get them changed over because we had smart meters put in before. Um, so we're back on at the end of those by, I think, the end of April. So that's handy. Which actually reminds me because um, it's my kids' birthdays at the end of April, so I think my son's birthday on the 22nd and my daughter's birthday on the 29th because uh, my son was actually due to be born on my daughter's third all birthday but I was in just a week early so their birthdays are a week apart in April uh, for the two oldest and I need to remember yeah, to phone like the ice cream that's place that's and see about getting Basically him an ice cream cake for his birthday my daughter yeah. in her yeah. infinite Basically wisdom yeah. Every year, every year for the past few years, she has asked for a Mate, gingerbread man bad, cake nice, for her birthday. Nice. I'm like, kid, it is like a, April, you know, your birthday isn't anywhere near Christmas. There's no way in hell I can get yeah, a gingerbread nice. man cake. Uh, but every year she asks for it, knowing fine nice. well that it's like damn near impossible for it to materialize. Yeah, like. Um, the, so I think the plan is for me to actually make one myself this year for yeah, her by a gingerbread nothing. man cake tin. Uh, like, cause I can bake. When I was younger, I used to make their birthday cakes all the time. Uh, so I have no problem doing that. But I don't think she's entirely serious about it. Because she likes to do it jokingly, but if it damn near kills me, she will be getting a gingerbread man cake. And I bet she'll be kicking herself because her brother will have this cool, cool um, ice cream oh. cake, which is like, I think it's like £25 for the cake that he's getting, which is in the Which? grand scheme of cakes is not a lot. Uh, so I bet yeah. she'll, be, he'll, she'll be kicking herself because he'll have this... Um, Cool ice cream cake, and she will she'll want this homemade gingerbread man monstrosity. So that is her bad. But yeah, if that's what she wants, that's what she's gonna get. The other kid wants ice cream cake. That's what he's gonna get. It'd be their birthdays. They don't get um. We usually spend a lot on them at Christmas and they don't get as much for their birthday as they do at Christmas. Uh, but we do plan on like taking them out, I think. Is this the same geode? I would imagine it is, yes. Isn't it? Yeah, right. Um so uh, my son, obviously, he can't tell us what he wants to do for his birthday. Uh, so the plan is to probably take him like swimming and soft play because uh, that's what he likes, that's what he enjoys. Uh, my daughter, we're taking her and a few of our friends roller skating in and out for some food. And the small one will be staying with her auntie. For a few hours that we're away. Uh, should be good fun. And then a few days after the kids' birthdays, we're away on holiday just to a caravan park in Scotland. Uh, but should be good. It's like somewhere we've went every year you, you uh, since our daughter was born. I not to give too much away, but took our daughter on our first holiday and ended up with her. Yeah, I'm gonna, no, not going to put her to this in it. Uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, because we usually take them to the caravan park like once a year and then we usually do... Let me scratch my ear. Um, yeah, we usually take them to the caravan park like once a year and then we usually do uh, Alton Towers once a year as well which is like from our hers is like a four and a half hour drive uh, 
Which is fine because when we first started going to the Lock Towers, uh, like neither of us could drive. So we needed to get the um, train down to, I think we got train down to Manchester. Oh. And then from Manchester to Stoke on Trent. And then from Stoke on Trent, we get the get a taxi to Alton Towers from there. Oh, uh, but we didn't go last year because obviously I was pregnant with the little one and couldn't go on anything and uh, with the potential health complications it would have been a bit of a nightmare. So uh, we plan to take them again. Uh, I don't know if we're this year or next year but we'll have to wait and see. We don't currently have any plans to take them this year, but I would love to take them for like the Halloween thing. Like that would be interesting. Uh, my son doesn't really do dress up. Like he's got um like Spider Man hoodies and dinosaur hoodies, and he's got Spider Man costumes, uh, which he likes to wear in the house. But if he takes them to school, you'll like wear them going to See school and then immediately take them off once he gets there because you know school is for school uniform and his nice school is not for costumes so mm. when we dress him up it tends to be just like uh probably spider-man themed clothing or you know whatever character themed clothing <laughs> Uh, which Super reminds me, Red Nose Day is coming up soon. So I need to figure out what the skills are doing for that. Usually they get them to go and dressed in their pyjamas, but Nathan doesn't wear pyjamas, so that's another problem that we need to deal with. Uh, because he... Yeah. Um, Maybe just no, get him like a bit of onesie or something. I want him to know what to do. Uh, yeah. Say that would. Nah, that's good. Yeah, he would be very happy. Why do you keep thinking everything here? Right, stuff is in. Oh, no. Put redstone. Put redstone in. Rangers, I was fucking legion of you that day. Just my husband casually swearing in the background. Uh, and this is why these videos are not suitable for children. <laughs> um, yeah. It's going to be a nightmare when Eowyn starts learning to talk again because I'm going to have to learn to moderate my language again around the. Uh, around what's her, because um, obviously it. with the, um, the other two being bigger, uh, I do accidentally, it's like we both accidentally yeah. swear in front of them sometimes, you know, something parents do, uh, but obviously we try not to, uh, but while it's they're at school obviously we generally get free reign over our language, uh, but with Obviously, Ewan yeah, getting bigger right now. It's a, it's not a problem. She doesn't care what you're talking about. She'll smile at you regardless. But um, as she starts developing speech, it will be an issue because we don't obviously right. want her getting bigger and so rocking up to nursery, uh, going f you this and f you that and blah blah. So you know that would be a uh, not great parenting, right there. So we're going to have to start watching what we see around small people. What happened to the, all the diamonds, by the way? I've got like 38 diamonds and like, but now they seem to have like all dried up. Where are my diamonds at? I want me some more diamonds. Give me some more diamonds. I want to find a cave as well. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know if it'd be like a bit further up there. There's got to be like caves down it bedrock, right? Because that was the whole point in like caves and cliffs. I think. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have noticed a difference in the volume. 
Uh, obviously, I took on board what you said in the comments, especially if you have like a hearing difficulty. I do take that stuff seriously because uh, I myself am a hearing aid user. Uh, I, I buy a lateral degenerative hearing loss. So I do use two hearing aids. So I do take the fact that people can't hear my videos properly to heart. Obviously, I said, um, like, I use a headset with a microphone built in to record these. I recorded in the living room. I uh, usually got a lot of background noise with the kids and stuff going on. So I do my best. <laughs> uh, I have been increasing the volume of the videos in post edit. Um, as you can tell, obviously, these videos don't have a thumbnail. Uh, they uh, are not edited a lot because, um, as you can tell, I've generally given up trying to edit out the kids' background noise and my muscle what comes through asking for paper or sweetie or God knows whatever else because to be honest I just don't have enough hours in the day and it's just me and it's just for fun so you guys basically get all aspects of my life when I am recording these videos. Alright then, you want to hear my kid screeching in the background because he can't have cake? You got it. You want to hear my baby screaming because she wants fed or attention or something else? Have that too. You want to hear my daughter slyly come through, poke her head around the door and uh, notice that I'm recording you. a video and slink away because, you know, she's a good child and she loves her mother. <laughs> you know? Oh, or, you know, my husband casually swearing in the background because he's on his uh, Xbox with his friends while the other two are at school. There we go. That's us. We get it all. Because uh, there's nothing about my life that I'm embarrassed about or would change or feel like I need to hide. Uh, obviously there are aspects of it that I won't talk about just for like the kids privacy and security and stuff like that. Uh, yeah generally like crap in the house is not exactly going to give away my bank details and my home address or something so apart from that you know. Uh, pretty, pretty good. Right, uh, four down. Right, we'll do one more stint up and down, and then we'll call a day for this episode. Do -do -do -do. Right, yeah, like I was talking, like one of the other videos about um. Someone had obviously subscribed because I had um, 86 subscribers and then someone unsubscribed. It's absolutely fine. I mean, if you guys subscribe to my channel and then decide, look, this is not for me or you don't find the videos interesting enough or, you know, they're generally just not your cup of tea. Like, I get it. That's fine. I mean, I am not a big YouTuber. I don't have fancy thumbnails. I... Uh, don't put little or any effort into editing. I, you know, I don't have a, a studio where I record these in absolute silence. They are, they are what they are, you know. Or if you just generally don't enjoy the content, that's absolutely fine. I have no problems with the. Uh, people not enjoying my videos. I mean, I'm not here to, uh, to put it bluntly guys, I'm not here to make anyone happy. I do appreciate the subscribers that I have, but even if I didn't have any subscribers, I'd probably be doing this anyway, because 
it makes me happy and I like to rant on videos and it's therapeutic so even if there was no one there to listen I would probably be doing it anyway uh, if only for my own sanity because Minecraft can, well, despite those uh, videos and being in the nether getting absolutely hammered by uh, mobs, Minecraft can be a calming game. Uh, and as I said, ranting while playing Minecraft, or like talking about stuff in general, uh, is kind of therapeutic. So I'll be doing this for me. This is a me thing. So, uh, I mean, obviously, there's been YouTubers I've subscribed to. Uh, I, there was actually one today that um, I watched a couple of videos. Uh, it was actually a Minecraft YouTuber. And then found out that um, actually, you know, this is not the sort of content I'm into. Uh, like, I did initially subscribe and then figured out it's it's not my cup of tea I'm probably not going to watch any more uh, so I unsubscribed uh, which is fine nobody should feel like they have to remain subscribed to a YouTuber that they don't find entertaining uh, uh, and obviously some people will be subscribed to certain people because uh, like a like for like situation where um, like I do have friends on YouTube that I am subscribed to and obviously try and be as supportive as I can and watch their videos and what have you. Uh, and a lot of people will have that. I mean, if you've got friends that are YouTubers um, or that make videos, uh, obviously you want to be supportive in whatever aspect that looks like so that's completely fine but if it's um, some stuff you watch for like your own entertainment and you don't find it entertainment entertaining then you know why be there is there anything up here uh, like it was a Hermit Craft YouTuber that I unsubscribed to. I'm not going to say which one because uh, there are others. Hermit Craft YouTubers that I am still subscribed to, and I don't want to. You know, I don't want to be derogatory about anybody's channel. They're they did absolutely nothing wrong as a content creator it was just that their stuff was not relevant or enjoyable to me specifically but it is and remains to be enjoyable to other people uh, which is the important aspect here so yeah I'm not gonna say who it was uh, also because I know that um, Hermitcraft has a massive following and if I do mention who it is uh, there's a chance that I'd get like a lot of backlash for it which I just can't be bothered dealing with to be honest. Right, let's go really back down this way and hopefully I'll find some more diamonds well, and if not we will call it a day for this episode. Uh, yeah, but subscribe or don't. I mean I always do say, um, obviously in a lot of the videos, like please remember to like and subscribe if you like the content. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, 
that's just generally a thing that a lot of people say. I mean, I don't expect to make money out of um. this. Uh, I don't expect to have a thousand uh, subscribers. So, you know, just plodding along as I am. Because so to be honest, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna, gonna do thumbnails, I'm not gonna edit the crap out of these videos. I am not going to uh, uh, have a de designated studio where I create content. It's it's just not it's just not me. Uh We've got two kids with additional support needs, potentially a third. Uh, so I have other priorities in life that are not making well, as I said, not making Minecraft videos, but um this is something as I said that I enjoy and I do for myself. Mm -hmm. And I will continue to do it for myself. So, obviously, if there's a big stint of gap between videos, then other things are happening. Like life is other areas of life taking over. Uh, speaking of which, someone is getting a bit puffy in her chair. Hey, darling. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, yeah, if you want your dummy, you need to keep it in your face. I find that hilarious. Like, they want the dummy, but then they spit out the dummy. It's like that old saying, you know, spat the dummy. Uh, obviously referring to someone that's not a happy chappy. But she is kind of back asleep. Hopefully she remains that way. Right, so we've got 42 diamonds. That uh, will gonna have to do just now. Uh, oh, obviously we'll come down and get some more at a later date. Uh, we'll probably go kill some skellies in the next episode, get some more XP. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. Please remember to like and subscribe we'll or down. don't. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Jesus.